This is more like trendy woo-woo crystal girl than cowgirl, but it'll have to do for today. This week, I wanna to try to recreate some Western inspired outfits that I found on Pinterest. Now, these definitely are a more romanticized take on that style. Obviously, this is not stuff that a real working ranch hand <laughs> would wear, but neither is cottagecore what I actually wear to work out in my garden. So we're just having fun with it. We're gonna start with something that's a little bit more Western Gothic inspired. Admittedly, there's not as much Western Gothic in the lineup I have for today as I would like. And just looking at it, it's super simple, just all black, but I really wanna focus in on the details. Their button down has a lot more detail on the buttons and the pockets and all that that I just don't have. I was torn between going with this black button down and this kind of gray dark wash one that I have. I decided to go with the more gray one just because it creates a little more contrast with the pants. This would be all blending together, which isn't bad. It's just not what I wanna go for right now and the buttons pop more on this one but now let's add our details definitely need a belt <laughs> and it looks like they're wearing a bolero tie i don't have one have no reason to have one so i might try adding a bandana i'll come back around to that though i'm not sure wow i have not put on my skinny jeans in a while <laughs> they also have like some kind of black ankle boot, it looks like. I do have boots that are more similar to that that I could go with, but I don't really wear my shorter black ankle boots very often these days. I still keep them around because they do come in handy, but I would rather use the black cowboy boots I just ordered. These are what I mentioned last week that I was waiting for them to come in. I got these off Poshmark. Let's see how these look. I think this is selling the look more than a plain black ankle boot would. I'm not gonna go with black gloves because the only black gloves I have are like my winter leather gloves and they have a little bow on the wrist and that's just not not gonna be what we want so I'm skipping the glove sorry if that bothers you but obviously we have to go with some kind of hat yeah this is more like trendy woo woo crystal girl than cowgirl but uh, it'll have to do for today and then even though the picture has a bolero tie I'm gonna try a bandana because I just feel like I need something else to really sell it this is probably as close as I'm gonna get it with the stuff that I have and it's fine. I think it really just comes down to the little details. Like this hat is not quite the right style. And then, like I said, my shirt doesn't have the same details. I do look like I'm about to go country line dancing though. So, you know, we're not too far off. Okay, next. Y'all, this is just not, this is just not coming together. I thought this one would be super straightforward. I mean, the picture is like such simple things. I mean, obviously the vest is different. This is the one I made last week. I am thinking about making a second one with some lighter wash denim fabric that I have, but they don't have like a shirt in the picture with it. The vest is not enough coverage. Even as small as I am, it's just not enough. And I tried a white tank top with this, I wasn't liking how that was sitting. Yeah, it's so straightforward in the picture, but it's just not really coming together in reality. That's the case a lot of times with these collage pictures, but I do wanna try a couple different things before I give up on this. I do feel like swapping in the skirt I made last week is better, but I'm still not sold on this. I just wanna wear it with a long sleeve white blouse or some kind of sleeve. I'm not really liking the tank top, but then I feel like we're straying too far away from the original photo. Yeah, at this point, I'm just recreating the same exact outfit that I wore last week when I showed you guys these pieces that I sewed. Um, So here's a picture of that. And then I do have this little bag. It's not quite like the one in the photo. Oh, I think I need to fix the strap though. There we go, a little cow print bag to bring it all together or not really. I'm wondering if the part I'm struggling with is like I'm trying to recreate other people's ideas when I know that I have at least three to five good Western inspired outfits within my wardrobe already, but they just don't look like the ones I'm finding on Pinterest. I'm not loving it. I'm not McDonald's. I want to move on. This looks very goofy, but <laughs> we'll get there, I think, hopefully. I really want to be able to make this one work because I feel like it could be really cool. So I don't know if the chick in this picture is wearing a dress or like a separate skirt top, sort of thing going on, but it looks like it's off the shoulder, so I can kind of do that with this. I'm gonna try the dark denim vest again, and then a black belt. I already have my boots on. Let's see if we can pull this one together. 
Okay, this one is decent. I'm still not in love with it, but I do think it's pretty close to the picture inspiration. I decided to go with two belts because it looks like she has two. It's a little bit out there. This is definitely not within my comfort zone, but I feel like this is a good approximation of the picture for what I have, just not really something I'd actually wear. So, okay, well, at least we're moving in the right direction. <laughs> I really think it's mostly the skirt that I wouldn't wear. If I swapped this out for like some denim shorts or just jeans, Jeans, something a little more comfortable that would probably be more like something I would wear or maybe just the long white skirt instead of this weird one Okay, so lengthen the white bottom this white skirt and then we have something that might be usable for me <laughs> Took us long enough, but we're finally getting to some variation of the Canadian tuxedo. And actually both of these items, the jeans and the top, I'm pretty sure I've worn them to work out in the garden. So this actually might be the closest thing in this video to actual ranch hand clothing, like not just playing dress up. These are actually both functional pieces. I don't know if I like these washes of denim together though. It is pretty close to what she's wearing in the photo, but I just like more contrast. So before I get around to adding the boots, the belt, and the hat, I want to try my dark wash denim first. I do like the contrast between these two a lot more, although the dark wash does look a little bit more polished and looks like I'm dressed up to go out, probably line dancing versus the lighter wash jeans. They look like I've done yard work in them because I have. <laughs> the question is, would I wear this? Probably not. Like this is very much a complete usable outfit. I feel like it all works together, but for me personally, I would feel like I'm wearing a costume. Maybe if I lose the hat. No, it feels a little incomplete without the hat. Probably not for me, but if you need a really easy, very Western looking outfit, Canadian tuxedo with the right belt, boots, and hat will get you where you wanna go. <laughs> uh, well, this one just has me looking like an old prospector. I feel like I was able to get a pretty close match though. I mean, I just kept the denim button down, swapped in my brown cargo pants. I can't see what shoes she's wearing, so I just went with my brown boots. Yeah, no, this, this is very Western, but it's definitely more like old timey, I'm playing dress up Western. It looks like maybe she's cosplaying a video game character or something. That's what it is. I'm ready to go be in Red Dead Redemption or something. I don't play video games, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think that's the one that I'm thinking of. I look like a video game character. No, I do kind of like it though. I do kind of like it, but this is very, costumey. I would want to tone this down a lot if I was going to actually wear this. I keep going back and forth on like, is the point of this to find a usable outfit or is the point to accurately or closely recreate the inspiration photo? And it's kind of both. So I guess this was not successful in finding an outfit I would wear for regular day-to-day -day life, but I do feel like this is a good copy of the picture. I don't know. Okay, well, I have one more. Let's see if we can end on a strong note. For this last outfit, I actually want to revisit an outfit I did in a video, I think two years ago. And at the time, I just really was not liking this. I just felt really costumey. I do think, if I remember correctly, I think I said something about this feeling Western Gothic or something along those lines, but I still was feeling really weird about wearing stuff that leaned a bit more costumey at the time. But now I wanna revisit it because I think I'd feel confident enough to wear this this now and I have a few different accessories that I think will pull it together more than I did before. So I have a different belt than the last time I wore this tank top with this skirt. I think this one works a little bit better. I like that there's metal accents all the way around. And then I'm also gonna do my black cowboy boots instead of the weird ankle boots that I had before. Oh, already that is so much better. But do I want to add anything else? I feel like a hat might be too much. Uh, or just enough. Do we want a bandana? I mean, a bandana would be good if I'm like trying to really go costumey with this. <laughs> I think the bandana is a little bit too much. I definitely would want some necklaces though. Ooh, I have a necklace that's literally just like a coyote's finger bone. I don't feel like getting it right now. Mm, no, maybe not that. Hmm, where do I want to go with this? No vest. Honestly, okay, I think less is more. I don't need the hat. So I really changed very little. Um, I think the biggest change is the boots. 
these feel more appropriate for the Western Gothic vibe. And literally the only other thing that changed is my perspective. Two years of feeling a little bit more confident in just wearing what I wanna wear makes a world of difference. So I guess that's technically not a Pinterest outfit, but I do have a Pinterest board where I save a lot of the outfits from my videos that is linked down in the description box if you wanna check that out. I don't know that I have this outfit on there and I also haven't updated it in like six months, but it'll be there now or soon, whenever I update the board next. There you go, it is technically a Pinterest outfit. I can't get my chair to stop sliding around. Yeah, I really should have been using this chair as a prop the whole time, but I didn't think to, so here we are. Definitely not my most successful venture into copying Pinterest outfits. I guess depending on what your metric is. I don't even know what metric I was using. Either they were a good usable outfit or they were a good copy of the picture, but not really something I would wear. There was kind of very little overlap. And I think the problem I was running into is that a lot of the pictures I chose ended up feeling more masculine. A lot of the outfits felt very masculine, especially if they were <laughs> pants outfits or jeans and or the individual items in my wardrobe that I thought corresponded to the individual items in the photo didn't really come together in the way that I thought they would. Like each individual piece was just a little bit too different. And so all of that difference combined made the end product too different from the inspiration photo. I don't know, everything was just <laughs> feeling pretty off today. I have half a mind to do another Western inspired outfits video, but instead of drawing the pictures from Pinterest, making them outfits just straight from my own noggin with more of a feminine touch, drawing more on like a little house on the prairie type of feel, more of that 70s prairie kind of look, less of that masculine element. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I'm still kind of up in the air on whether or not I wanna bother with all of that again. This just didn't really scratch the itch for me. So let me know if you wanna see more Western inspired outfits, not based on Pinterest, with a more feminine angle. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for sticking around for this hot mess. Leave a lemon emoji down in the comments. And thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Subscribe if you'd like to hang out again. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. A romanticiz romanticization. Oh wait, I have pockets. <laughs>